Now, yesterday we talked about the people who made the short list for Time Magazine's Person of the Year, people like Donald Trump, Caitlyn Jenner, al-Baghdadi, the head of ISIS. But we all made our predictions, and we were all wrong, because this morning on the Today Show, they announced the winner. It is German Chancellor Angela Merkel who won first female person of the year. Yes. First woman selected right. person of the year. And we all were sort of like, eh, why her? And so now we wanted somebody with a little more controversy. But I just want to read oh. what the managing editor of Time said as to why she was selected. She was selected, quote, for asking more of our country than most politicians would dare, for standing firm against tyranny as well as expedience, and for providing steadfast, and this is the part that I think is so important, moral leadership in a world where it is in short Supply. Mm -hmm. She, she like, was being heralded yeah. as a moral leader. I love well, she this. stepped positive. up first. Well, it's a positive one. She stepped up first, and we all scratched our heads. And then, when you really thought right. about it, she stepped up for Greece when they needed financial help. She stepped up for the Syrian, you know, uh, people and the migrants who needed to come over. That come. That come. come. She, yes. she, she basically took a page from what we should do she as our country. She represented what the United we used States. to be known for, yes. <laughs> and we're not. Anymore. And she took a stand, whether it was you know scary or not for her country. She was ballsy. Excuse yeah. me. And I like that, you know. And so she deserves it. Yeah, no, I, absolutely. I thought she was yeah. great. Okay, moving on. Most people were excited when the trailer for the highly anticipated comedy Zoolander 2 came out recently. I love Zoolander, the mm -hmm. original. Some people, however, are not laughing. Hold yeah. that applause so you see this. The movie features an androgynous model played by the wonderful Benedict Cumberbatch. Mm -hmm. And transgender activists are upset at his portrayal. They think the character is an over the top cartoonish. Mockeries. Apparently, people are, are very upset, and one of the writers is Justin Thoreau, who's the husband of Jennifer Aniston. He responded to his critics, you know, he sort of said, you hurt my feelings here. You're not seeing the whole movie. You're taking it right. out of context. Mm -hmm. This is called irony. It's Welcome satire. Welcome to comedy, people. Right. Welcome to comedy. Exuberant. We're talking about uh, androgynous. We're not talking about transgender in just this little clip. How are you supposed to know what this character is or, you know, what's going to happen? No, if you're going to boycott the movie, boycott stuff. it because they didn't reprise my role from Zoolander 1. Oh, you were in oh, Zoolander? That's why you broke out. That's right. That's right. Didn't get that call. Yeah. Did, did you play yourself? Or did I did. You... I played myself. Yes. Oh my gosh. No wonder you have such great modeling looks when you take pictures. Right. I can turn right. <laughs> what are you saying, Amanika? You think that people just have to be upset about something? Yeah, everybody. Yeah. You, people like to be upset and get on a, in a, a bandwagon. I think it's more, you can tell from that clip for me, it's more poking at the modeling industry than somebody's sexuality. I think people need to just loosen up and, a little and bit. And androgynous <laughs> is a big thing in, in, in modeling right now. And it's, it's a it's it's a wonderful thing. It's a positive thing. People are looking for these type of models right now. But I think maybe if you're transgender, and I'm not, so I, I don't mean to speak out of school. But given all that they have gone through in the past, and such ridicule, ridicule and hatred, and the and the way they've been treated, maybe they have a right to be sensitive to this. I mean, this is a big year for the them because of yeah, Caitlyn and everything. So maybe they think this is a step back. Yeah. We should wait and see Let's the see movie, the movie first, and then yeah. judge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's no way we can get you to Zoolander three. I mean, <laughs> we have to make let's the call push Ben. Now. Yeah, exactly. Let's push now. Exactly. <laughs>